the ATP Tour is coming to Seoul for the first time in 25 years, and it promises to attract a whole lot of attention. It's going to have three top 10 players on the roster, with world number 2 Alexander Zverev, number 7 Kasper Ruud, and number 9 Cameron Norrie. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Seoul ATP Tour event, so stay tuned. First off, Alexander Zverev to take part in the Seoul ATP. Alexander Zverev, the world's second best tennis player, as per the rankings at least, will be the highest ranking player competing in the Seoul ATP event. Zverev's been out of the game ever since he injured his ankle in June during the French Open. Tennis fans are understandably relieved to have him back. After all, the German has had his fair share of impact in the professional world of tennis ever since he first entered as a teenager. He's skilled enough that by the time he was only 18, fans had already started calling him the future number one player. While fans could always depend on him to deliver a spectacular performance, his real breakthrough came in 2017. The most notable are his two ATP Masters titles. He had to go against Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer in the finals. Neither of these players are anything to laugh at, especially Novak, who's considered one of the best tennis players currently active. So obviously, these two wins, along with a lot of others, helped him climb up the ladder of the ATP singles ranking to the top five. Until recently, the highest he'd been in was third place, and his climbing to second place had given people hope that despite his hiatus, he'll manage to the top soon enough. Most of Zverev's game depends on his serve. He uses his height to his advantage and hits the serve flat and hard, which tends to throw a lot of his opponents off, giving him an opportunity to take the lead. Secondly, South Korea to hold first ATP event in 25 years. For the first time in over a quarter century, South Korea will host a tournament on the top men's tennis tour. It was announced on Friday by the ATP Tour that Seoul will host the Korea Open from September 26 till October 2nd at the Olympic Park Tennis Center. This will be the tour's first event happening in South Korea since 1996. From 1987 to 1996, South Korea hosted an ATP-level event. Since then, the city has staged only tournaments on the second-tier ATP Challenger Tour. In a statement, the ATP said that the Korea Open would be one of the six single-year events for this season, alongside the tournaments in Israel, Spain, Italy, and the United States, among other places. Four tournaments were cancelled by the tour, which was supposed to take place in China because of COVID-19 restrictions. The new six events which will take place are all ATP 250 tournaments in the lowest tier in ATP below the four Grand Slam tournaments, ATP Finals, ATP Masters 1000, and ATP 500 events. The highest ranked South Korean ATP player is Kwon Soon Woo at number 77. One week before the men's event, Olympic Park Tennis Center will host a tournament from the top women's tour, the Hannah Bank Korea Open. The WTA 250 event will take place from September 19th till the 25th. Next up, Zverev is planning to return to action in Seoul. Zverev was hoping to make a great comeback by winning the final Grand Slam of the season but decided against it. He pulled out of the US Open last week, and when asked why, he admitted that even considering it hadn't been a smart decision in the first place. Playing best of five set matches in his first tournament back spoke of disaster. He confirmed after the withdrawal that recovery had been going very well, and he was happy with where he's gotten regarding it. It had been a very difficult decision for him not to get to New York and compete in the tournament, but he prioritized his recovery, seeing the risk as not worth it. Still, that doesn't mean he won't be watching it from far away. The US Open is a very important event for tennis players, and if he had recovered in time, Zverev would have definitely jumped at the first chance to compete. But he won't be at his 100% till another week or so, and there's nothing he can do about the unfortunate turn of events. Thankfully though, the Davis Cup is around the corner, and he'll be up on the tennis court with everyone else soon enough. Zverev mentioned that he was eager to be back in action as soon as he could. The Davis Cup finals are scheduled to start on September 13th and finish on the 18th. They'll take place in Hamburg Group C and Zverev will play for Germany who's going up against France, Australia and Belgium. Finally, the two other top 10 players coming to Seoul. Alexander Zverev isn't the only notable player taking part in 
in the ATP event. In fact, he isn't even the only one in the top 10 that's competing. Kasper Ruud, the Norwegian star, has made his way into the seventh spot among the world's best tennis players. Just this year, he's won three titles and was the finalist in the French Open. The other player from the top 10 is British Cameron Norrie, who's in ninth place. Well, number nine in the world. In his own country, he's in the top place. The respect he has in the tennis world is well deserved, especially with his four career titles. Of course, they aren't the only players competing that are worth mentioning. Taylor Fritz is a perfect example. The top American player in the tennis world rankings has found his place at number 12, just shy of the top 10. Denis Shapovalov, the top Canadian player who's ranked 21st in the world, followed by Croatia's Borna Koric, who just recently displayed a remarkable performance and secured the ATP Masters 1000 crown in Cincinnati, and in turn jumped from the 152nd in the rankings to the world's 29th best tennis player. And of course, Kwon Soon Woo, who will be the lone local competing at the Korea Open. While being the number two, Zverev has a lot of winning chances. Anything can happen when there are 170,035 US dollars and 250 ATP points on the line. Now, in other news. First off, Carlo Alcaraz shows great performance at Arthur Ashe Stadium. Spain's Carlos Alcaraz showed his US Open title credentials when he shot past Federico Coric of Argentine 626175 to get to the third round in New York. The third seed made a ruthless and dynamic display as he entertained the crowd in the Arthur Ashe Stadium. The 19-year-old blasted 42 winners and also moved forward efficiently throughout, winning 78% of the points at net to level their head-to-head -head at 1-1. In his on-court interview, Alcaraz said that it's never easy to close out a match. Federico was playing very well at the start and he had to stay calm and think and focus on what to do in the tough moments. Next up, Rafael Nadal perseveres through freak accident to gain victory. Despite a freak accident today in which Rafael Nadal struck himself in the face with his own tennis racket, his US Open campaign remains on track. He isn't one of the best tennis players for nothing and there's no way an accident like that could keep him down, especially considering he's probably already fed up due to the games he had to pull out from due to his recent shoulder injury. Nadal suffered from a surprising blow when a forehand went wrong. The racket hit the acrylic hardcourt at Flushing Meadows and rebounded back right into his face, leaving him with a bleeding cut on his nose. Nadal had to lie down and receive treatment for his injury, but he soon went back into the game with the pink band-aid on his nose. The New York crowd cheered him on and he won against Fognini, taking the fourth set 6-1, and claimed a spot in the third round. Finally, Serena and Venus Williams lose in what's probably their last doubles together. Both Venus and Serena Williams' return to the doubles turned out to be short-lived, as they got defeated in the first round of the US Open. The sisters had teamed up again for the first time and possibly the last time since 2018. They lost 7-6, 7-5, 6-4 to Czech players Lucy Hradeka and Linda Noskova. The American greats have won 14 Grand Slam titles throughout their lifetime. This will be the last tournament for 40-year-old Serena Williams. She has already announced her retirement and even had her own farewell that was, without a doubt, a sight to see. On the other hand, the plans of Venus Williams 42 aren't yet known. Serena will play against Ajla Tomlanovic on Friday in the first round of the women's singles. Venus was knocked out in the first round. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of three top 10 players coming to the Soul A ATP Tour? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.